Okay, welcome to the Feti Attack 786 versus Destination Requiem, a game one of two, Money Cup 2016. Ah, uh, Destination Requiem, minutes. fresh from their victory against the Yellow Fellows 2 0, putting them top Five of Group A minutes. with three points. Ah, uh, this game hopefully Dollar should be back. a little bit closer. Alright, let's have a quick look here. Quickly banning out Invoker for um, 30 Attack 786, taking Invoker out of the pool. I think he's been banned in five or six Radiant games out of all the games being played so far. OD also being banned. Meta Heroes being banned out here. A little bit more respect being shown by Destination Requiem uh, for this new team here. Looking at ban out Meta Heroes as well. Spectre picked up as the next ban. It's curious ban. I'm not sure if they attack. Watch the first match there. And um, they, don't, they don't want to Radiant see Spectre in this game. Pick. Uh, such a strong hero. Uh, um, Void also being banned out. This time by Destination Requiem, who actually played him uh, previously uh, very well. Lion then picked Dyer up first support pick, pick uh, for uh, Fetty Attack 786. Okay, and uh, just run through the names here. We've got Anil Fister, Super Fire, Mixtape, Volume. That is Volume, okay. Um, Japanese guy, I'm not a smurf, and Mama said Ten not you. Remaining. Oh, okay. All right, now as far Five as we're aware, both remaining. of these teams are Scottish, so this could be uh, one of the uh, one of the real grudge matches of the tournament. Let's see. Um, I, I interesting uh, how the green group is going to unfold uh, with these two teams. I predict uh, a 1-1, one, one, uh, depending on the picks, but it could very well go in the favour of Destination Requiem. Like I said, they are on fire tonight. Uh, so, Ten first pick for them, remaining. Vengeful Spirit picked up, uh, offering that AoE. Ooh, and the Tusk pick as well. Radiant <laughs> Hope pick. we're not going to see uh, the Dazzle carry again. Uh, it was a fun pick. Um, I'm not sure how well that um, um, how well that pick will do in the later game, though. Well, we aren't actually streaming on Twitch um, for these matches. Um, when uh, we play the one later tonight at ten o'clock, hopefully uh, Toxic will be joining me uh, in the uh, co-caster, and uh, we'll get that game streamed on Twitch for Five you guys to enjoy remaining. there as well. Okay, Night Stalker. Radiant uh, wonder team ban. What role that Night Stalker will play? That uh, Night Stalker able to adopt a supporting role or a mid role. Not too strong in the mid role though. Uh, able to play in the off lane. Able to play in the safe lane. Quite a versatile hero. Uh, same remaining. goes for Lion to an extent, but I expect we will see Lion as a support in uh, this particular match. Remaining. So, next ban then for uh, Fetty Attack 786. Time. I expect this ban to be one of the core possibilities um, from the previous match. There goes Earth Spirit. So, Invoker, Spectre, back. Earth Spirit. Three core bands, um, three bands of meta heroes at the moment. Our spirit so rarely played well, uh, but when he is played well, such a high win rate. And uh, yeah, Ten I seconds mean, remaining. not at all unexpected bands so far. Ban then from the Destination Requiem. They're going to ban out the Witch Radiant Doctor, particular favourite of uh, Fetty Attack 786. Uh, AA also been banned out with uh, Morphling being banned out Dyer by Destination Requiem. Now, having a quick look at their teams, let me just check what I've got here for Fetty Attack 786. Pretty much nothing. I know they like to play the Invoker and the Shadow Fiend. Invoker obviously already banned out, so we might see a Shadow Fiend being picked up for the mid, or possibly, uh, possibly Pudge. Ten seconds remaining. I'm not sure whether or not they'll show their hand just Five yet, seconds or remaining. whether or not we'll see another support being picked up, or maybe they're off lane. Reserve um, time. Off lane obviously revealed. Uh, I think Tusk uh, did. Tusk Tusk played in the uh, played in a support role. 
in the last match actually uh, with the Dazzle there. He was able to get farm though simply from picking up kills uh, against uh, I want to fuck uh, cat girls uh, to Bristleback. Uh, Bristle never managed to really get that tankiness online which uh, which obviously caused problems with uh, which obviously caused problems with the mid to late game. Uh, none of their heroes were able to come online. Destination Rec we able to shut them down across the board. Hopefully we'll see a slightly different, uh, slightly different game this time. Okay, so quite a lot of thought going into this next pick here. It's going to be one Ranger mid. Probably going to see Jinxed on that hero again. Uh, absolutely dominated uh, in mid uh, against uh, against the yellow fellows there. Uh, I want to fuck cat girls uh, on the death prophet. Taken apart uh, by Jinxed. Um, I wonder how... Uh, Fairy Attack 786 will will deal with this. Like I say, probably going to be a Pudge or a Shadow Fiend mid for Kingy. Ten seconds um, that remaining. That would be a Neil Fister in this match. He does like to change his name. Um, Five seconds so let's remaining. see where he goes. Uh, where he goes with that. Reserve time. Okay, so the Juggernaut picked up. That could be Dire a hero for King. Um, I'm not sure if he would play it in the mid. I definitely, I'm, I don't think he would. I don't think he will play on uh, play it in the mid. But we'll see. Um, like I say, not familiar with, <laughs> not familiar with Fetty Attacks names. Uh, with the way they've got them set up at the moment. Um, I'm not sure what positions they will be playing Ten seconds uh, remaining. on that basis either. Um, I will Five probably seconds just have remaining. to uh, see how, as the tournament goes on, um, see see where, they, where they fit in there. Um, and probably then we can be a little bit more specific when it comes to the draft here. So, next picks for the uh, Dire team. We already have a support, possibly two supports, or a support and an off lane, plus their mid hero. So, definitely looking for either the safe lane carry or uh, at another support. Um, meanwhile, on uh, Fate Attack 786, we definitely have a support in the form of Lion and possibly the safe lane carry in the form of Juggernaut. Okay, so Spirit Breaker Radiant picked up. Team pick. I mean, Spirit Breaker and Tusk are both uh, well, pretty much the same hero as far as roles concerned. Um, I'm curious, I think probably Spirit Breaker would be on the off lane with Tusk. Uh, I mean, you kind of want to have a dual offline then, so that when Spirit Breaker does charge, the lanes are still uh, under control. Um, but I mean, like I say, either role, uh, Tusk or Spirit Breaker, Ten uh, seconds able to fulfill remaining. either role there as a, as a semi-support offlaner. Um, Five should be seconds remaining. Given the fact they played Tusk in the support role in the previous match, though, are we going to see that again? So, Death Prophet though, picked up back. for the mid hero. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this mid hero matchup goes. Given how easily Jinx took apart the Death Prophet in the previous uh, the previous encounter, um, curious to see how uh, how this Death Prophet will fare Ten uh, seconds uh, remaining. against uh, against Jinx's strong mid presence. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. No. Okay, Disruptor banned out. Band. Uh, obviously, our hero able to offer that party ring, and uh, his ult gives a lot of disruption. Um, I don't know whether or not these uh, the Fetty Attack Seven Eight Six squad is really that uh, group fighting Ten intensive though. Remaining. It's certainly a strong hero against um, five seconds remaining. based cores. So we might see a Terror Blade or a Phantom Lancer or something picked up. Enigma banned out pick. by Fate Attack 786. They don't want to see that uh, Enigma from Game 1 uh, of uh, Destination Requiem versus uh, the Yellow Fellows. The Enigma there was actually played, I think, by ASD. 
Um, and he had a level 6 and a fast black hole, uh, which really caused problems um, for the mid-hero. Um, uh, I want to fuck cat girls. Really, I think they'll caught remaining. out. I think he was the first blood um, with the uh, Enigma. Five Ranger seconds combo. remaining. So final time. picks then for uh, Destination Requiem. I expect we're going to see a core being picked up. Yep, Sven being picked up for Radiant the safely. Team pick. Uh, safely in core. And then uh, finally, I think we're going to have a support for uh, for Fetty Attack 786. Presumably, uh, unless Night Stalker takes up a support and all, we're going to see um, a more dedicated support. Possibly uh, Dazzle. Possibly uh, Omni, um, something maybe with a bit of sustain for the early push. Obviously, Jugsmord is going to do a lot of early sustain. Death Prophet kind of sustains herself. Night Stalker generally picks up on Urn. Um, so, I mean, they Reserve could get away time. with something a little bit more uh, more aggressive. Maybe the Shadow Shaman comes in. Uh, given that they don't have. Uh, they have line for stuns, but he is the only one with a stun there. There's a silence on Night Stalker. They actually lack a hard disable at the moment, so even a Bane uh, wouldn't be out of the out of the question here. Uh, on the opposing team, we got all the stuns. Okay, a quap picked up. That's gonna be interesting. Uh, what? Uh, so no stuns though for the Sven. I've, you know, Sven with a storm hammer. Uh, Wind Ranger with the Chaco Shot, Spirit Breaker with the Charge, Tusk with the Punch, the Walrus Punch, and uh, Venge with, the, with uh, her stun. I mean, I'm really worrying about Fetty Attack 786 in this game. Okay, so let's look at how the uh, characters are, are putting up here. Just going to have a quick check. Just going to have a quick check for um, any smoke dunk potential here. We do have a smoke on Zeniston. And uh, we've got double mangoes on uh, Dire side and single mango on the Radiant side. Um, lots of rings of protection being picked up there as well, and many, many branches. Look at those pulled tangos on the Wind Ranger as well, expecting a rough time in the mid. So, we got the smoke gank from uh, the Destination Requiem. They're coming down through the enemy jungle. They are not. They're not going to find anything. They are going to block this pool camp. They are taking this match a lot more seriously than the last battle. match that they played. There is a wrap round from Fetty Attack 786. Neither team is going to find anything, though, I don't think. And anyway, we've got Mama said knock you out on the Death Prophet. I'm not a Smurf on the Warlock. Uh, the Warlock? The Lion. Uh, we've got Anil Fister on Juggernaut uh, Kingy, as expected. We've got Super Fire Mixtape 3 Volume 4 on the Night Stalker and Japanese Guy on the Quap. Meanwhile, um, the battle Batizzo, uh, back on a, a solid core as expected. Every and it does look like it's going to be another Zeniston uh, Tusk uh, support in, in the safe lane, which puts ASD, Venge, probably going to sit mid or potentially go to the safe lane as well. Jinxed on the Wind Ranger as again before. And 1, 2, 3, 4 playing the Spirit Breaker in the off lane. Uh, war placement here just for vision. Uh, they have blocked that pool camp, like I said. So in mid, Night Stalker looking to harass Jinx early on. This is a support Night uh, Stalker, I think, isn't it? And uh, we got the Lion uh, Jug combo going bottom. Um, we all got the Death Prophet in mid. So that's putting the Quap in the off lane. Uh, interesting <coughs> that set up. And uh, they're all over Jinx here. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to suffer the same fate as uh, the Yellow Fellows with so. their. Um, Death Prophet have been taken out of the action before they're able to even um, before they're even able to get online. Spirit Siphon leveled up first then. Uh, uh, looking across the board here, uh, Anil Fister he's gone for play three first so he can get out of trouble. Probably stun or yeah, stun picked up on Lion first item there. Okay, so let's have a little look and see. How the uh, last hits are going, uh, keep an eye on that. Sven uh, on 5 and 4, not unexpected to see um, Matizzo doing well in the safe lane. Certainly been showing his strength there uh, over the last few games. Um, in, this, in the safe lane for the uh, Radiant though, Anil Fister obviously doing well uh, on 6 and 0 oh as well. He was a little bit late to the lane, I like to um, so that's why he's behind. You have a tri lane at top though, um, Venge and uh, Tusk. 
zoning out the uh, Night Stalker co-op combo. It does look like uh, Night Stalker playing more of the roaming uh, support uh, in this particular situation. But there's a snowball in from uh, Task. Uh, he's gone on to Superfire Mixtape Volume 4, Stormhammer to follow up, beautifully timed stuns, Lion takes out Spirit Breaker in the safe lane, uh, while I was watching that, but Sven gets a kill at top, so they trade one for one, offlane versus offlane, both going down, and uh, Sven's farming not uh, interrupted by that, still manages to hold a lead. Uh, 10 to 5, uh, 10 hit, last hits, 5 to 9. Um, now there is a charge back by a Neil Fister. Um, uh, a charge back by Spirit Breaker onto a Neil Fister uh, in the um, in the off lane here. I don't think he's going to actually take the charge, so I think he wants back on just using it to get back to lane quickly. And uh, so, one for one, uh, trading evenly across the map. Um, Double uh, mid, uh, Death Prophet actually doing better in mid than uh, Jinx this time around. The lane control is quite superb. Uh, now we do have a double damage now onto the Night Stalker. He's going to come up. They're going to see if they can grab another kill onto this Spirit Breaker um, in the off lane here. Going to get scouted out. I'm going to have to back off. No rotations though from uh, from anyone to uh, to help out the Spirit Breaker. I don't think they're too bad. So Spirit Scython onto Jinx. Uh, he's losing a lot of health here. Uh, he also eats. Um, he also eats the uh, the Crypt Swarm uh, charge in from Spirit Breaker. We also have a rotation in, Smoke Gank rotation in from Venge and Task. This is dead. Mama said knock you out. is going to get knocked the fuck out. Shot, Boom. Right? Wind Ranger gets the, uh, gets the killing blow. But the combination of the Venge, Tusk, uh, the Venge, Tusk stuns and Snowball not, uh, not recognized in time. And uh, they're going to pay for the fact that uh, I wonder if there was, uh, I wonder if the missed calls were there from a uh, Japanese guy in the off lane. Uh, certainly not going to be too happy about that. Still on par as far as last hits go, but uh, the extra golden experience going the way of Wind Ranger. Um, Go certainly going to probably give her a bit of an advantage. Still holding uh, even as far as uh, levels are concerned. Moon Ranger just spotted out the um, the Night Stalker there. She does have the Invis rune, uh, popping it almost immediately to get her mana back from her bottle charge. Um, Dyer's bottom tower is under to attack. Talk, uh, we're going to take out this Japanese guy. I think we need to find out what that name actually means. Uh, <laughs> can't just call him Japanese guy every game, Jeeves. Um, okay, down in the, mid, uh, the the safe lane, um, things are just kind of unfolding there. Um, ah, I've got another kill at top on the Night Stalker. Just, ah, they're so fast with the uh, uh, Stormhammer uh, snowball combinations. Just picking them off. It was high in the trees there. He did have double damage. Um, they're looking for something in the safe lane uh, bottom for the spirit breaker but he's just staying sort of in the safe uh, the safety of his own tower nice. not out, feeling a little bit brave again um, we do have a rotation coming down from these two uh, from the task from the bench and uh, needs to be careful that she uh, he doesn't get caught out uh, doesn't get caught out at the end there so spirit breaker charging just using it to get out of dangerous way uh, sitting on 120 health. Good thing there's no Zeus Invoker uh, Spectre for them to deal with here. Now, they are in position for a gank on Mama Said Knock You Out. Um, gonna have to be careful. I don't know if he sees it. I mean, he definitely seems to be playing really cautious. He's aware that something is happening. And uh, meanwhile, at top, Matisso getting uh, harassed by a uh, Japanese guy on the quap. Night Stalker just sitting here in the back there. Waiting to make a move. Now Jinx goes in with the shock of shot. There is a snowball from Task. And uh, also the charge and a stun from Ven. That's another death for Mama said not be out. And a uh, super fire mixtape vol uh, mixtape uh, volume four not able to do anything. He is gonna get charged in the face by Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker gonna cancel it out. Um, the other heroes uh, of the dire are out of position for the secondary kill. Dyer's They're not going to be too bothered though. Quite happy to pick up the kill on uh, Mama said knock you out on the death prophet there. Dyer's bottom tower well, Jinx is trying to take advantage of this uh, empty lane, uh, well essentially empty lane. He 
do have a charge back to bottom by... Where did that charge go? Sorry, charge to top. And it looks like... Oh, we're finally going to catch one of those kills at top. Hop, uh, hop goes down to, uh, to the triple um, Spectre. Uh, Spectre? Uh, Tuska, uh, Sven, Venge um, uh, combo there. Now, Spirit Breaker was charging in as well. Um, so even if he had managed to evade that with a, with a blink, he was going to get caught by the uh, Spirit Breaker charge. Radiance top tower. So Destination attack. Requiem uh, continue to show okay. their uh, continue to show their mastery. Um, really early domination of this game. It looks like Mama's gonna knock you out. Uh, Mama says knock you out though. Uh, in trouble again. Uh, they may have overextended. I'm not sure they were aware that Superfire Mixtape Volume Four was there. And uh, I think they're actually going to pick up the Spirit Breaker kill. Dyer's I think it's the second down. kill for them. That's the second kill for them. Second kill on Spirit Breaker. Venge TP's in, but Lion also rotates round. Night Night with Night Night Venge. The Juggernaut takes the tower at bottom, making this a two for one. Uh, sorry, two for O trade and the tower. And it looks like Jinx is going to be in trouble now as well. Those uh, spirits will be coming back to Mama said knock you out to heal him up. He's not going to have suffered any damage at all from that. The TP was cut. The TP end was cancelled. This has Dyer's been a very strong, a very strong counter attack by Fetty Attack 786, picking up three kills and a tower for free. Essentially, Press they've got to be feeling stains. good about that. Dyer's middle remains. tower is under attack. Okay, Tusk rolling in with the snowball. I think he might have overextended there. There is a charge from the Spirit Breaker. Line is there. He gets, the, he gets shackled though, and the power shot just uh, finishes him off. Uh, both of them going down there for four hero rotation. Uh, it does leave the mid tower exposed to Death Prophet, and the top tower Dyer's completely. Middle tower is under oh, no, attack. The top tower is fine. Sven's still there, but it did not move. Uh, Japanese guy is in trouble with. Uh, I'm not really in trouble, but he's really low on uh, hip, uh, HP there at the moment. There is a strong rotation of three heroes to the mid here. That's just an illusion rune, though. I don't think they're gonna. I think they're aware of that, and they're not gonna waste anything on it. Um, just let the tower to take it out. It's fine. The real danger, though, obviously, is that while all this is going on. Sven is happily farming away in the top lane. He does have three kills and no deaths, as well as uh, a significant net worth advantage, I would expect. Yeah, he's uh, almost 500 gold ahead of the uh, Juggernaut at this point. And we've seen from previous games of Destination Requiem that you don't want to let this, uh, you don't want to let uh, Matizzo get Radiant's the farm middle attack. tower. He's picked up an attack. early blink. Interesting first item. It does give him the opportunity and the mobility to uh, to basically just jump on uh, any hero. Radiant's he wants. bottom tower um, they're is gonna under skip, attack. Uh, skip the creep Dyer's here. Top Neil Foster is going to go ahead and take those uh, creep there. It does leave Wind Ranger a free. Radiant's tower, middle though. tower and, is under uh, attack. They, she is. Uh, Jinx is going to pop the owl. To, uh, to try and take that tower down. No response from uh, Fetty Attack 786. All of their Dyer's top tower is up under here attack. To take, this, uh, to take this top tower. I believe their mid tower. Uh, Dyer's they top take tower it, they do has get fallen. the top tower. Uh, half health Radiant's on mid bottom tower. tower is under from attack. Rangers assault there. And bottom tower is is undefended at the moment. Um, Radiant's middle gonna, tower is under attack. So, Matizzo uh, rotates round to mid tower. They are looking to uh, to push that tower. Four or five heroes from Fetty Attack 786 just kind of sitting here in the uh, just sitting here in the jungle. TP in from Night Stalker. Um, it does look like Radiant's this mid tower middle is tower just going to fall. Under but, uh, it's certainly within the night range now. Um, I'm not sure if Night Stalker wants to risk just going in there and just tapping it a few times to. Uh, to put it down and stop the deny the gold. Radiance uh, middle tower alt is under attack. Jones. The tower goes down. Radiance uh, middle and, uh, tower goes has down fallen. Wind Ranger, securing the gold for the team. So we've got a charge on to. Who did he charge? Ah, he's charging on to the Quap at top. Uh, he's going to TP out, hopefully just in the nick of time. Yep, and uh, Spirit Breaker is going to have to cancel his charge. Meanwhile, strong rotation, four heroes from. Uh, Four heroes from Destination Requiem coming down to have a look for uh, a Neil Fister. Uh, and, uh, and they've spotted him out. He's going to be in trouble here. Uh, he gets caught by the Shocker Shot into the. Uh, 
his uh, snowball, and then uh, just uh, right click damage is uh, even though he was able to spin off and ignore the majority of that damage, he does just get cleaned up. Um, four heroes is difficult to deal with, uh, whoever you are, um, unless uh, yeah, unless you've got like a blade mail or something. But Dyer's middle tower is under Mama said attack. knock you out. Going to continue to Dyer's pressure this mid tower here. Are fortified. I mean, as far as things go at the moment, towers wise, they are trading. Uh, well, thirty attack seven eight six ahead by one tower. Um, I mean that bottom tower uh, had a little bit of damage. Um, top tower also uh, taking a little bit of damage. Mid tower is down for them. Uh, Seventy, hundred ninety, one hit points left on Dyer's mid tower. The last of their tier ones. Is this... Do they have an evil courier? Hmm. That combined with a Beastmaster could be quite evil. Uh, it looks a lot like the... Uh, it's a lot like the Beastmaster spell. Fear quiets magic. Radiant's bottom tower so, is uh, under attack. Spirit Breaker found then by the call uh, Lion, uh, Night Stalker <laughs> combo. Uh, Juggernaut's there as well. He goes down. Bringing the score up to 5-8 with uh, Destination Requiem still ahead on kills. Uh, Fetty Attack still ahead on map control. Um, late game wise, I think uh, they got to be careful with this Sven getting all the farm that he wants. Um, but, I mean, if they can finish the game before that happens, uh, it's not going to be, not gonna be under attack. Problem. We've seen this before. <coughs> it's with that building the helm of the dominator next. And um, Anil Fister, he's just gonna take this tower. He is being Dyer's charged, but well, he's not actually the one who's uh, the target of the charge, but that's them uh, they're taking the tier two. And um, uh, certainly uh, putting a lot of pressure top tower is under attack. Putting a lot of pressure on the map. So they're gonna TP Night Stalker, he seems to be the sacrificial lamb. Radiant structure. Gonna TP him fortified. into the top lane and we've got a uh, Japanese guy coming up as well. Uh, just to kind of push uh, push back that, that split push of uh, of Jinx and uh, ASD. Mama said knock you out. Also picking up an Invisrun. Invisrun plus death, uh, death Prophet. It can be really super evil. Obviously she's able to pop the out and then just uh, pop the Invisrun. And uh, if you don't have dust then uh, you're going to eat a lot of damage. No. Um, Night Stalker just picked off earlier by Jinx to combo with uh, ASD. The Venge Spirit's done finishing him off and uh, making it 5 and 9 to Destination Requiem. This middle tower, though, is going to go down with the combined push of uh, Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Kingy there on the Juggernaut. This is just Dyer's middle tower help. has Mama fallen. Knock you out. Uh, tower goes down, no problem at all. Warding wise, Radiant's uh, bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's uh, bottom as tower far has as fallen. Item progression is concerned. Uh, got the, a mask of madness. Uh, what what patch are we playing here? A uh, mask of madness picked up on Juggernaut. Really unusual. Obviously, it does give him a speed bonus, but it makes him super vulnerable um, to uh, to right click damage. Finished the helm of the Dominator on Sven along with the Blink Dagger. Jinxed is uh, almost finished, the Ags, Ags almost finished on Jinx, so that's going to be a severe boost of power for the pushing uh, the pushing potential of uh, Destination Ring as well as the kill potential. Um, just boots picked up for Zeniston on the support task, ASD has picked up uh, the urn of Shadows. Um, not sure about Lion picking up the cloak, maybe he's going to build a uh, early He's gonna build an early, um, an early cloak of pipe for the team, and uh, it looks like a Yules from Mama said knock you out is gonna be next. Uh, a Neil Fister, either the Sanj. Uh, we're definitely building a Yasha next, but we'll see whether or not that becomes a Sanj and Yash or a um, uh, Mana style. Invisibility. Okay, charge on to a Neil Fister. Uh, sorry, on to line here. Oh, look at the reactions from I'm not a Smurf. Instantly hexes him. He needs to get out of there though. There is a rotation in from the rest of the Destination Requiem. He's got backup though in the form of uh, Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4 and a Neil Feaster. Spirit Breaker just going to charge out of there before he gets silenced down. They're not able to stun him or drop a hex, so he does get away. And meanwhile, 
Mama said knock you out. Pop that in Viz Room Go and uh, kind of chase, but uh, Jinx ASD and uh, Zenistin just going to back off for now um, and allow uh, some space for their Sven to farm some more. Still maintaining that 500 gold need. I think that probably is about 10 last hits. Uh, actually closer to 15. Um, but still, I mean, Kingy doing well to uh, to keep up with uh, with the last hitting there. Let's have a look here. Okay, triple stacked ancients for Sven. Um, I'm not sure whether or not uh, whether or not uh, Fey attack will be able to, will be able to ping that out. Will be able to notice that. And, oh my God! It, there's no chance for them. I do anything about it. Sven is just cleaving through them in no time at all. That's going to be his BKB finish. I think fairly man. shortly. And uh, now we're gonna try and now we're gonna really see some uh, some Sven on the yeah, uh, action as he comes online. Let's have a quick look at the XP difference here. We've got a 2k advantage in XP. Um, I think simply from those ancient stacks. And uh, wow, look at the uh, look at the net worth. <laughs> look at the net worth graph. It was a, a, a spike there, 1.5k advantage to the radiant to uh, Fetty attack, which fell down a, a 3k swing in favor of. Uh, in favor of Destination Wreck, we'll be for settling out again, and now we're after those uh, ancients there, we're back to a 1k advantage across the team. Long probing arrow from Jinx there, uh, just pushing uh, Japanese guy out of uh, out of position. Okay, so they got a, a triple stack set of ancients, and now they're thinking that they might want to get a triple. Uh, might want to pick up the Roshan as well. Uh, Wards wise, uh, Bet Attack seventy six are not going to be aware of that of that attempt at all uh, as things progress at the moment. Although they seem to have a sixth sense because they are going down to have a little look at. Maybe they're going to try and pick it up for themselves. Um, they are totally spotted out though, there is definitely two sets of boards there that are going to pick up on what they're doing. Um, there is a smoke in, I don't know whether or not, yeah, they're just kind of like baiting it out I think. No D wards though, where is the, where are the D wards lying? What, where, where are you, where are you at dude? Uh, he is there, he doesn't have any sentry wards, no D warding happening at the moment. Oh, he did pick up the Glimmer Cape. Okay, that does give them a little bit of escape potential. Charging from Spirit Breaker on the Japanese guy. And also blinking from Metazo. But he is just going to get blown up. He needs to be careful that he doesn't go down here. Tasco takes out the Queen of Pain. And Sven able to stay alive long enough to destroy pretty much their whole uh, team. Yeah. Okay, so... Team wipe for Fetty Attack 786. Destination Requiem, a circular dominance in this game once again with an excellently executed team fight. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. It just goes to show that you don't want to give any of that space to uh, to Matizu at all. He's able to. He's able to. Getting farm. Uh, he did die there, top but tower at the end of the day, attack. it was a five for one trade. And they're looking to take the uh, mid tower. Radiant off the back structures end, but are fortified. I think, uh, they, there is an only slash available, and it is the second level. Not able to secure that tower then off the back of the. Uh, Team wipe. I don't think the lanes were in a very good position. They weren't able to take Vosh either, so Radiance I mean, top tower a huge is under swing attack. for them as far as gold and XP is concerned. An extra 3k advantage over what they had before and a 3,500 uh, XP advantage. But uh, not able to secure any objectives on the map. And remember guys, it's objectives that win prizes. So Spirit Breaker just keeping the vision there on the Night Stalker for a little while with the charge. He's cancelled it now though, backing off. Um, I think it's Fen though that's doing the stacking here. I'm not sure if there's shared unit control. But um, certainly stacking these Ancients and keeping him in the farm game. Keeping him in my head. Uh, I think he is aware of uh, Fetty attacks uh, Adil Feaster. Um, 
I think uh, he's aware of that and he wants to keep on top of the farm again. Endurance run! Arcane Rude bottled up for uh, Death Prophet, uh, for Mama said knock you out. Um, that could be, that could be useful. Radiance top tower. I'm gonna go ahead and deny the top tower. Uh, it's been in deny range for a while, so the back, they've not been able to pick that up. It's a bit of a problem, but here we go. We got a bit of a team fight opportunity here. Vent is just gonna blow Night Stalker up with a combination of Wind Ranger and Vengeful Spirit. Ranged attacks, that aura is just really difficult to uh, deal with. The arrest of uh, Fetty Attack 7 and 6 just bailing out on poor Night Stalker. Once he got shackled, they were like, nope, you can uh, you can have as much as you eat there, buddy. We're uh, we're just going to back off from that. A ward put up here. Radiant's top and tower is under attack. He's protecting with push on this top tower here. Uh, tier 2. This tower will definitely go down. I don't, I'm not sure they can... They can the swap in line just absolutely destroyed in two seconds flat by uh, by the Tusk uh, Wind Ranger uh, Venge combo. It was a neat little swap by the Venge uh, on the line there. I think that Venge might have a blink or something. I'm not sure how they found the position so easily. Uh, Quop did, uh, did blink out. Oh, and they found the triple stack of uh, back and they're going to have that as well. Thank you very much for stacking those camps for us, guys. We will munch up that XP and uh, Super Fire Mixtape Volume 4 and uh, uh, Kingy can only just weep uh, at the loss of their of their beautiful farm. I mean, let's have a look at how the net worth is shaping up. I think Sven, yeah, I mean, he's got a good 3k advantage over Kingy now. And uh, really going to have to respect, uh, really going to have to respect uh, Matizu in the next matchup and trying to do more to shut him down. They kind of left him to farm as much as he wanted to his heart's delight in the in the safe lane um, while they uh, dominated their own safe lane early on. And now this could be a mistake for the, uh, This could be a mistake. They, I mean, Fet Attack 76 know they're there. Oh, or maybe they don't. Mama said knock you out. Almost getting absolutely murdered. Uh, no all popped. Uh, they swapped in there, but they are going to get a double kill. And uh, Death Prophet's going to go down. Lion's going to go down. BKB popped on Sven. He does have the blink. He's going to jump in on a new sister. Juggernaut goes down. And uh, it looks like they're going to take the Night Stalker as well. So, although that looked like it could have been a much more uh, a, a greater payoff for Fetty Attack 786. A uh, huge mistake by Death Prophet. Just, just walking in. I'm just gonna check it with my face. She says, and uh, her face gets checked in return uh, by the entire dire team. Um, Jinx and Matizo, they're just gonna clean up the uh, the Roche, no problem at all. Nothing that Fetty Attack no, Seven Six can do about that down. anymore. Uh, too many of their heroes down, and only Quop and line up to even uh, you know contest that. But Quop's set uh, out being down. Lion though didn't manage to get his ult off in that fight. That's a that's a shame. I'm pretty sure uh, the finger damage may have made a difference. There certainly was two or three heroes on the dire side which were within finger death range there. Um, just uh, I think he got stunned and blown up too quickly to be able to do anything. I mean, it is 8.20, um, 26 minutes into the game though, uh, much longer, <laughs> much longer than Destination Requiem's previous games, um, I mean, definitely showing uh, the potential of the 8 
uh, in this tournament here. Now, uh, Lotus Orb picked up on uh, the Spirit Breaker. Um, some more wards picked up on ASD. He does have the Medallion of Courage finished. And also, let's have a quick look here. I think we got the Ags. Ags, Blink, Phase Boots, and a double damage rune on Jinxed. Certainly going to be going to work uh, fairly shortly, I think. Yep, we're going to get oh, no. Blink in with the uh, hey, Shackle Shot. Uh, double damage hey. pop. Mid Radiance tower Middle Tower down. has fallen. Yeah, early domination that uh, Fate Attack 76 showed as far as map control is now being wiped out with uh, Matizzo with the oh, with the Moonshard ads the BKB. I don't think there's anything they can do. I don't think there's anything that Fate Attack 76 can do. I think they're just too far. Impossible. Uh, the whole enemy, the, their whole team get blown up there. Radiant Death Bolt has left the line. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they just went out and straight out called GG at fallen. this point. Uh, mid rocks are gonna go down though. Uh, Radiance uh, middle barracks has fallen. Radiance middle barracks has fallen. They're gonna go ahead and just rotate the top and take this tower as well. Thanks very much. Let's have a quick look and see if they even have any buybacks available. Buyback available on death profit. Radiance top tower is under attack. Buyback available. That's it. Only buyback available on death profit. I don't think there's much they can do here. I think basically they're going to take Radiance a second set of rounds. And we may well see, uh, see a GG after this. But no, death profit does pick up the spirit breaker kill. She wants more though. She's going to go in on the Venge. Venge with that new set from the uh, international, uh, not the international, the uh, Shanghai Major. Uh, chest one, uh, doesn't quite manage to finish the kill off though, and uh, the, uh, it's not enough, it's not enough to force them back, uh, they're going to try and take more, they're going to take the range tracks as well, and uh, that's it, they're just going to call GG, and uh, well, that's uh, the first game in the series goes to the uh, Destination Radio. They really are on fire today. Um, I can't wait to see how Fetty Attack 786 responds in the next match.